Greg from Lulzbot here, helping you break down some of the features and functionality on our new Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer. In the description below, you can find a link to our full quick start guide video, which takes you from unboxing your printer to completing your first print. In addition to the steps covered in that video, you'll want to make sure your printer has the most up-to-date firmware from the Cura Lulzbot Edition slicing software. Firmware is the software embedded in your printer. Think of it like software for a piece of hardware. Follow the instructions available at lulzbot.com slash cura to download and install the latest version of Cura Lulzbot Edition. With your Mini 2 attached to your computer via USB and powered on, open Cura Lulzbot Edition. Make sure you have the correct printer and tool head selected by navigating to Settings and Printer. Click the monitor button at the top of the main Cura interface to show printer information and controls. Under Manual Control, click Connect. If new printer firmware is available, you'll be notified by a green pop-up box at the bottom of the interface. Follow the instructions and navigate to Settings, Printer, Manage Printers. With your Lulzbot Mini 2 selected, click Upgrade Firmware. Be sure to follow the instructions in the pop-up for retaining your printer's EEPROM settings for E-Steps and Z offset. Then click Automatically Upgrade Firmware and wait for the status bar to complete. From there, you're ready to print. New versions of Cura Lulzbot Edition get released regularly, so you'll want to check every once in a while to make sure you're using the most up-to-date version. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for future videos about your Lulzbot Mini 2.